Travel back in time with us to the 1960s and discover 11 captivating ways in which grocery shopping differed from the modern experience. Whether you're a history enthusiast, a curious mind, or simply someone who enjoys a trip down memory lane, our exploration of the grocery stores in the 1960s promises to be an engaging and informative experience. Number 1. Checkout was time-consuming In the 1960s, grocery checkouts were manual. Shoppers brought items to the cashier who manually found prices and totaled the purchase using a cash register. Some registers calculated change automatically while others needed human calculation. In 1966, Kroger envisioned an efficient system with optical scanners reading prices, but it took six more years for barcodes to revolutionize checkouts. Plastic credit cards, common now, weren't widespread in the 1960s. Shoppers often relied on store credit instead of the convenient payment options we use today. Number two, the stores were smaller. As described by Lily McElveen in her article, What Grocery Stores Were Really Like in the 60s, grocery stores were smaller and simpler compared to today. They focused on essentials, had fewer aisles, and offered a limited product variety. Personal service was emphasized, with customers often interacting directly with storekeepers. Although there was a shift towards self-service, it was on a smaller scale than today's supermarkets. Over the years, grocery stores have grown in size due to technological advancements, changes in consumer preferences, and the rise of larger retail chains. In the 1960s, shopping was localized and community-oriented, meeting the immediate needs of neighborhoods. The grocery retail landscape has evolved towards larger and more diversified stores in the present day. Number 3. The produce section was limited. In the 1960s, grocery store produce sections were smaller and less noticeable than today. One key reason was the limited demand for fresh fruits and veggies. People preferred the convenience and perceived modernity of canned or frozen foods. Fresh produce was also pricier and scarcer, especially in winter or rural areas. The 1960s were also constrained by a lack of variety and quality. Stores mostly carried common items like apples, oranges, bananas, potatoes, carrots, and lettuce. Additionally, the produce suffered from poor handling during long-distance transportation, often arriving bruised or overripe. Number 4. The stores were often smoky. Shoppers in the 60s commonly smoked in grocery stores where ashtrays adorned aisles. Back then, public acceptance of smoking was high and it was a social norm. Customers freely lit up while shopping or waiting in lines. Smoking was seen as a personal choice with fewer restrictions and less stigma due to limited awareness of health risks. Over time, increased awareness led to a shift in attitudes Smoking bans were then introduced in public places, including grocery stores, prioritizing healthier environments for both shoppers and employees. Number 5. Everyone dressed elegantly. In the early 60s, fashion mirrored a culture that valued a polished look. Men, even outside the office, often wore suits. Women often embraced elegance with high heels and gloves for daily tasks like grocery shopping. Appearance matters extended beyond workplaces to places like grocery stores. Dressing well wasn't just practical. It conveyed personal dignity. Whether in a classroom, theater, or local grocery store like Safeway, public outings showcased refined taste. The 60s transformed a grocery run from mundane to a chance to display style and sophistication. It wasn't just about errands, it was an opportunity to express individual identity through clothing. Number six, meat was a focal point. Pork and beef reigned supreme in grocery stores, particularly in the vital meat section. The success of the entire store rested on meat department sales, with the manager holding a pivotal position. Post-World War II, intensive farming made red meat more accessible. 
Americans, unaware of health risks, embraced it, leading to a surge in beef consumption between 1960 and 1970. However, in later decades, red meat consumption declined due to rising costs, a sluggish late 70s economy, and increased awareness of overconsumption health risks. Number 7. You probably wouldn't find food labeled organic. Organic food options in grocery stores were limited in the 1960s. Agricultural practices heavily relied on conventional methods with synthetic pesticides and fertilizers. The organic movement gained momentum later, in the 1970s, prompting increased demand for organic produce. This led to expanded availability in stores over subsequent decades. In the 1960s, however, most of the food in grocery stores was conventionally produced, with organic options being relatively scarce compared to today's more diverse selections. Number 8. There were fewer international food options. American grocery stores in the 1960s generally had fewer international food options compared to today. During that era, the variety of available products was more limited, with a focus on domestically produced items. Importing and showcasing international foods was not as widespread as in contemporary stores. The cultural diversity in food choices we see today, with a wide range of global options, reflects shifts in immigration, trade, and consumer preferences over the decades. Overall, the 1960s American grocery shopping experience had a more localized and less diverse selection of international foods. Number 9. The frozen section was highly popular. Frozen foods gained significant popularity in 1960s grocery stores. This era marked a shift in consumer habits, with advancements in freezing technology making frozen products more widely available. People embraced the convenience and longer shelf life of frozen foods, reflecting a growing trend toward modern, time-saving solutions. The frozen food aisle became a staple in supermarkets, offering a diverse range of options from vegetables to ready-made meals. This era laid the foundation for the continued popularity of frozen foods in modern grocery shopping. Number 10. Canned foods took up a lot of space. In the 1960s, canned foods became a kitchen essential in American homes, reflecting the convenience of the era. Staples like Spam, a canned meat blend, and SpaghettiOs with circular pasta and tomato sauce gained widespread popularity. Canned vegetables like peas, corn, and green beans were favored for their easy preparation. Campbell's condensed soups offered a quick and tasty meal option, contributing to the trend. Canned fruits like peaches and pears were also prevalent. The surge in popularity was fueled by the desire for quick and accessible meal options, aligning with the fast-paced lifestyle of the time. Number 11. Whole grains were scarce. In the 1960s, whole wheat bread was scarce in stores compared to now, with white bread being more popular. Limited production and availability were due to low awareness of its health benefits. Many preferred the taste and texture of white bread, leading to lower demand for whole wheat. As research highlighted whole wheat's nutrition, interest in healthier foods grew, increasing demand for whole wheat bread. Grocery stores responded by expanding their offerings. By the late 20th and early 21st century, whole wheat bread gained popularity. Stores diversified bread options to meet changing consumer preferences for healthier choices. In conclusion, exploring the distinctive features of 1960s grocery stores unveils a bygone era of simplicity and charm. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe for more videos like this, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Before you go, make sure to check out these two fascinating videos. Thanks for watching the History Stop! And we'll see you next time.